Welcome to the special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA-TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. The number of coronavirus deaths in long-term care facilities has climbed to 5,670 since last week, according to a national news outlet that has been compiling state health data. New York, where more than 2% of long-term care residents have died from the virus, helped drive that number up. A total of 3,466 long-term care facilities in 39 states now have known coronavirus infections. That is nearly 1,000 more facilities than state officials reported last week. 29 state health departments reported their death counts, which represent nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and other long-term care facilities. Still, the number of deaths of long-term care residents could be higher, as some states, like Florida, are not reporting their statistics, and access to testing is still limited in many states. Earlier this month, the chair of AMDA, the Society for Post-Acute and Long-Term Care Medicine, said that nursing homes should be prepared to lose one-third of residents. Nearly 20% of coronavirus patients are healthcare workers, according to the latest report from the CDC. Healthcare professionals make up 19% or 9,282 of the coronavirus cases reported between mid-February and early April. Federal investigators suggested the findings highlight the need to better protect the health and safety of, quote, this essential national workforce. The report did not specify the types or settings of healthcare workers who were infected. A majority of workers, 55%, reported having contact with COVID-19 patients in a healthcare setting. The report added that providers should take additional measures to reduce workers' risk of infecting or transmitting the virus to others. Measures could include screening all workers for symptoms at the beginning of their shifts, as well as prioritizing testing and PPE for them. Insufficient levels of PPE have been a major concern for long-term care providers since the start of the pandemic. In brighter news, though, each day at 7 p.m., a curious event happens in New York City. Residents take to their balconies and rooftops to clap and cheer. Their outpouring is for the frontline workers in this pandemic. The city is continuing a ritual that started in Wuhan, China, in the early days of the epidemic. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.